This is the Portfolio Tracker 3rd Generation by Planet Finance, a tool that helps you track stocks, ETFs, and crypto from multiple accounts and platforms, all in one place. It includes top quality features to capture insights, from a summary of your overall portfolio performance, to your individual investments and your dividends, all presented through beautifully designed charts and dynamic tables. There's a range of useful tools that can be found here, for example, this split tool to perform asset splits automatically on your past transactions. There's a portfolio rebalancing tool, where you can set target weights and get signals for upcoming recommended purchases. There's also a charming dividends dashboard, where you can see the distribution of your dividends by month, asset class, sector, and geography. This dynamic table shows all your individual assets by platform and several interesting performance indicators and statistics. To drill down further, this view allows you to look at your investments by specific platform to understand the allocation in each account and their performance. Then there's a summary of all your grouped investments shown as a total portfolio, which provides the opportunity to look at granular data in a way that is easy to understand. Oh, and it also has trendy charts which can be customized. This then automatically feeds into this user-friendly dashboard where you can get a summary of your total portfolio performance, screen watchlist assets, and understand the distribution of your investments across many types of categories. It doesn't stop there. As you scroll down, there's a massive graph visualizing your historical portfolio performance over time with customizable date ranges. And at the bottom, you'll have three summary tables that break down your cross-platform movements with dividends, crypto and cash interest, cash balances, performance, and trade information. Finally, let's not forget the magic cell in the dashboard that converts all your numbers in this tracker to an overall currency of your choice. This certifies precision and consistency when investing in multiple currencies and countries. Now, let me show you an example on how to enter your investments in this tracker. This here is the backbone of this tracker, the Transactions tab. It requires minimal manual input, and once you enter all the relevant information here, it is then translated into a lovely story throughout the rest of the tracker. I've populated this tab with hypothetical transactions using platforms from multiple countries and currencies, so you can see how anyone in the world could use this tool to track their investments. Transactions include options to enter cash deposits, buy and sell orders, cross-platform transfers, cash dividends and reinvestment plans, crypto and cash interest, split operations, and cash withdrawals. So let's buy a new stock. First, you must enter the cash deposit into your account. Now you can enter the stock purchase information. Let's go with waste management in the US. Start with the purchase date, the action, in this case a buy, the ticker, in this case WM is just fine as it's traded in the New York Stock Exchange. But if you're trading in any other exchanges, it's recommended you include the exchange symbol just like this. Then the quantity, the price, currency, platform, asset class, sector, country, strategy, and a note. And that's it. If you move across the tabs, you can see that waste management has been added automatically to your tables and charts. It's a very intuitive way to enter transactions and the tracker delivers the perfect opportunity for you to seamlessly manage your investments successfully. If you would like to access this ready to use tracker in light, dark, matrix, and cyberpunk theme, make sure to visit my Patreon, which is linked in the description of this video. When you first access this tracker, you'll see a protected version. You need to click file on the top left and then make a copy into your private account. Now you can edit and continue with the rest of the setup. So go to the transactions tab and select all the dummy transactions. Once they're selected, remove them by pressing the backspace or delete key. You can do the same with the split tool records and the portfolio rebalancing targets. Go to the settings tab and check the options available under each column. These lists will appear as drop down options as you enter transactions in the transactions tab. Here you can enter your platforms being used and further asset classes, sectors, or strategies you want to track. Make sure to enter the base currency in cell H5 to ensure the historical portfolio performance chart stays accurate if you have investments in multiple currencies. You can now start entering your transactions or migrate them from a previous tracker by pasting them from row 3 in the corresponding columns. Once you've entered your transactions, there is one last step to set up the historical portfolio performance chart in the dashboard. 
That's a mouthful. Go to the Portfolio Performance tab and clean up the existing records. Select the records from A9 all the way to the bottom of column B and then press the Backspace or Delete key. To set up the automation for recording data, click File on the top left and go to Settings. Just double check that the spreadsheet settings are set to your desired location and time zone. Then click Extensions in the menu bar and go to Apps Script. Once it loads, click the alarm symbol on the left menu bar called Triggers. Now click the Add Trigger button on the bottom right of the screen. Select Record Portfolio Value from the list of functions to run and then select the options in the event source. Choose Time Driven. Then choose your desired time type and interval in the last two options. This will basically be the automatic trigger that will record your portfolio value and you'll be able to see the results in a list and also a chart in the dashboard as more records are created. I'll go with weekly every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. When you click save, Google will pop up a new window with an authorization page. This is to validate that you're giving permission to an unofficial script made by Planet Finance. Choose your account, click Advanced, and then click Go to Planet Finance Script on Save. I've developed this script and the only operation it performs is taking a snapshot of your portfolio value and pasting it within your private tracker. I cannot see this information as this is all being done in the copy of the tracker you made in your account. Finally, click Allow and your trigger will be saved. You can now close the script window. It's now ready for the trigger to start working at the next time and interval that you set up. As you can see up here, there's also a button to manually record it in the menu bar called Record Portfolio Value should you wish to test it straight away. And that is it. If you have any further inquiries, feel free to read the instructions tab or contact me through all the available methods provided below. Thank you very much.